Fifteen years ago, Israel fought a war with Hezbollah. The war was instigated by Hezbollah after its leaders made the calculated decision to fire rockets and anti-tank missiles into Israel. The Hezbollah militants infiltrated into Israel and attacked IDF soldiers, killing five and kidnapping two of their bodies. For over 30 days, Hezbollah terrorists fired rockets at Israeli cities, towns, civilians and infrastructure. In response, the IDF targeted Hezbollah military targets and militants who purposefully embedded themselves behind the civilian population in Lebanon, using them as human shields. Resolution 1701 was passed by the United Nations Security Council at the end of the conflict. It included a list of steps that Lebanon should take to exercise its authority over its territory and host Hezbollah, as well as measures to avoid the reignition of hostilities. Joining me today is Ben, a major in the Israeli Defense Forces International Law Department. He will tell us what Resolution 1701 mandates, and we will jointly evaluate how or whether it is being fulfilled. Thanks, Shefla. Resolution 1701 was passed by the Security Council in an attempt to ensure that Lebanon exercises its sovereignty and to ensure that no hostilities are renewed. For example, the resolution calls for an area free of any armed personnel, assets and weapons other than those of the Government of Lebanon or of UNIFIL. That's the peacekeeping force mandated by the UN to enforce the resolution. However, this is not the reality today, as Hezbollah freely, openly and deliberately operates throughout Lebanon, including in the area specified in the resolution. It also states that there will be no weapons without the consent of the government of Lebanon and no authority other than that of the government of Lebanon and calls for the disarmament of all armed groups in Lebanon. But clearly, Hezbollah continues to possess weapons and stockpile approximately 140,000 rockets in densely populated civilian areas pointed towards Israel's civilians. Today, Hezbollah is even a part of Lebanon's parliament and government Hezbollah militants are also assisted by parts of the Lebanese armed forces, raising serious concerns. UNIFIL is also mandated to take all necessary action to ensure that its area of operations is not utilized for hostile activities. However, Hezbollah continues to use Lebanon to conduct attacks against Israel, to infiltrate Israeli territory, and to build massive stockpiles for future wars. The resolution also calls on Lebanon to ensure the security and freedom of movement of United Nations personnel. But Hezbollah and Lebanese civilians regularly attack UNIFIL patrols, stopping them from uncovering Hezbollah weapons and military activity. And when there have been explosions inside Lebanese towns, Lebanon has failed to facilitate UNIFIL's access to such sites, meaning that UNIFIL cannot properly investigate Hezbollah's activities. The resolution demands that Lebanon secure its borders to prevent arms from entering Lebanon. But Lebanon has not stopped missiles and other weapons from coming in through Syria and Iran to add to Hezbollah's stockpile. So, 15 years on, Resolution 1701 is not being adequately enforced by Lebanon and is being systematically, openly and deliberately violated by Hezbollah with Iran's direct support. UNIFIL is not able to fulfill its mandate given to it by the Security Council and the international community. Resolution 1701 was made so that Lebanon would enforce its sovereignty and to avoid war. This resolution continues to be constantly violated and risks dragging all sides into a dangerous direction. It's time. Enforce Resolution 1701.